Hello everybody and welcome back to Rogue Tech, where things are going a little bit awkwardly for me. And of course, one of those things is the fact that my voice is not up to par at this point. I'm still ill. This is of course partway through this mission, so we had to do it at the same time. So what we need to do is really start chipping down this area over here. We've got the trebuchet, the thunderbolt, and the alicorn. And we're just going to lob a, thump a thumper artillery at this thunderbolt. And that actually was a pretty decent shot. So we'll absolutely take that. That will start to chip through all of this that we've got going on over here. So that's good. Our crossbow can move up over here. I'm wondering what our hit odds are like. Okay, 22.3. 46 on that alicorn so obviously the alicorn is the target no doubt about that we'll start chipping down its armor yeah that was a pretty good amount of armor removal and we'll continue to work on lobbing those indirect shots in this rifleman is not really in a position to do anything we're just going to position it up over here and sink its heat so that'll be fine for now Let's see what Comstar is going to do here. I'd love to see them lob more missiles at this Alicorn. Its side armor here is getting pretty weak, actually. More good side arc hits there. Yeah, that armor is getting very weak. So at this point, the Black Knight is going to step forward, and we are going to fire on this Hunchback. Decent laser shots there. That's a structural exposure. So things actually do feel like they're turning for us in terms of our luck. Honestly, yeah, I blame the Nidhogg. The Nidhogg was where their luck came from, definitely. We're going to hit this Alicorn side arc. I'm hoping for a lucky shot in finishing it off here. Looks like we might. Okay, it wasn't good enough on the crits, but we're getting very close to this Alicorn being gone. And that is phenomenal. More missiles into the Alicorn, please. Don't pick the trebuchet here. That's a terrible call. So the Shadowhawk is injured. No doubt about that. I'm going to position it back here. We don't want to engage it. That's all fine. This Grasshopper, of course, it doesn't have jump jets, but we can make our way up over here and sink heat. And so we shall. Next up, we're going to get to move our Centaur. So the plan for that is to continue to engage the Hunchback over here. Especially since we saw a structure exposure in this left arm. So let's sprint on forward here. Aye, aye. And we're going to hit this Hunchback in that weakened side arc just as hard as we can. Okay, so that was a lot of damage to this Hunchback. No doubt about it. It gets to move in phase 18. I was hoping to see a knockdown on it, but that didn't happen. This archer is going for the alicorn. That could be a kill. I think it is a kill. Yes. Beautiful. The alicorn being dead is a huge, huge deal for us. Those triple gauss rifles really could have messed us up. That's for sure. This hunchback isn't really doing much of note. Phase 19, this archer. I'd love to see it not attacking this trebuchet. I mean, it is triggering the AMS there. That is a useful thing, but it would have been more useful to attack this hunchback, I feel like. The hunchback gets to move now. It shoots at our centaur and gets literally nothing done. So that is fantastic. The light AC-20 is now unjammed. Noted. Mines, of all things. Weird. Why would they choose that timing to, sh to shoot mines? And why would they fire it at our fire support mechs? I'm very confused. Okay, so they're firing on our grasshopper. That's okay. We can definitely move our grasshopper forward here and attack that thunderbolt. And that is indeed exactly the plan. I also want to step our crossbow forward. And we can really start to chip into the armor of this Thunderbolt. Taking the shot. Cool. So that'll do. Next up, what's Comstar going to do? I don't know. Phase 16 here, that'll be the Conga. 
firing at the Thunderbolts. Okay, it gets 10 damage in there, I guess. Yeah. That's reasonably fine. So I feel like our Hoplite continues to hit the Thunderbolts. That is a terrible shot. I have no idea where it went besides through this building. Okay. So the, the Cestrus is going to position over here and continue to do some damage to that Thunderbolt, exposing the structure in that torso, destroying his AMS as well. So that was a pretty decent shot there. I'm here. The Apollo, at this point, I would love to see it make its way out and around. Unfortunately, it's going to be indirect oh, fire, fire, basically, no matter where we are. So we're going to fire at the Thunderbolt and see if we get anything done there. We took out a couple of double heat sinks. I guess that's something. Okay. What are you going to do next, Comstar? So this Avatar is going to position here and fire on the trebuchet. I don't love it, but it's okay. I'm Next up, of course, is our Black Knight. The Black Knight, I would prefer to be in this side arc, I feel like. Confirmed. And we'll fire on the Hunchback. Hopefully we don't do too much stray shot. That was a really solid shot there. That was a lot of AC-20 ammo that was just destroyed. All of its AC-20 ammo, in fact. Orders. Cool. So at this point, the Rifleman is going to position up over here. Apparently, there are landmines here that we don't know about. Intriguing. Well, next up would be the Shadowhawk, and I'm just not going to move the Shadowhawk. The Shadowhawk is just going to stay put. This Grasshopper can step forward, and that gets us LOS on this Thunderbolt. We'll see if we get anything done here. That's a whole lot of nothing. Okay. Well, next up is going to be our Centaur, and that should be able to finish off this Hunchback. Which would be great. Got my attention. I would be absolutely delighted to eliminate this Hunchback. So we'll right. do exactly that from this angle. There's that I'll leg destruction. Take that as a lesson. And this should be a dead Hunchback. 99% sure about that. Yep, there we go. Fantastic. Now, there's just the two. We'll see when they get to move. So, this guy gets to move phase 20. Okay, that's very early. And this trebuchet, I'm not sure when he'll get to move. I like this angle on this Thunderbolt shot. Unfortunately, they didn't get into the exposed torso there. But, I mean, they would have had to shoot from the other side. So, that's not shocking. Now, still direct LOS on our Grasshopper. So, this Thunderbolt might well die this round, which would be absolutely phenomenal. They're continuing to fire at the Thunderbolt. That was an AMS ammo explosion there, torso destruction. That Thunderbolt just took a big hit. Okay, we'll definitely take that. So, next up will be our Hoplite. And I think the Hoplite should really start focusing in on the Trebuchet at this point. We'll see what we can get done there. Reasonably solid artillery hit. But nothing spectacular. And we'll see what our allies end up doing. I'm not expecting much out of them, to be honest. So the Cestrus moves up here and fires on this Thunderbolt. It gets absolutely nothing done there. Nothing done whatsoever. Completely zero. Okay. Next up will be the Conga, and what's that going to do? Jump on top of this building? I would actually not hate that. Although I do kind of hate it jumping directly behind us and firing that ballistic weapon. That's not great. So more damage into that Thunderbolt looks fine for now. I'm ready. Our Black Knight can definitely advance out over here. I'm looking for uninterrupted LOS, and we do find it here. Heading out. Full speed. So that'll be fine. Locking target. Some nice CT damage there from that Thunderbolt. Yeah, very little left there. Shadowhawk is not going to move. I don't want to do anything there. The Apollo, I would love to have it move around. And so we shall. 
and we'll lob some missiles at this Thunderbolt. I expect the Thunderbolt to be dead very soon, but not from that salvo. Scored a critical hit. Cool. Oh, he actually panics and ejects. Okay, well, that'll work. Confirm. Next up will be our Rifleman, and we're going to just close in Copy over there. this way. The Rifleman doesn't have any LOS whatsoever on this trebuchet, although we may want to start shooting down some of these buildings in all actuality. Hey. The crossbow can step forward over here and fire on this trebuchet, although we don't expect much out of it. We do get some armor reduction, so we'll take it. The grasshopper is just going to position here for now and brace. Okay. So now we need to deal with the trebuchet, and that's the only remaining enemy. The question is, how are we going to go about getting there? Talk to me. Well, our centaur can definitely... ...apparently be stuck. Okay. Apparently we're... There, now we're allowed to sprint. So we're going to head up over here. That took a moment to calculate. That'll be fine for now. We're just going to make our way around this way. That'll only be a couple rounds. We'll see if the trebuchet survives that long, though. It's continuing to get pelted by quite a lot of fire support here, and hopefully that'll be done fairly soon. Okay, what are you going to do, Trebuchet? You just going to stay there? Yeah, pretty much. Fires at our hoplite, does very little. Drops some mines. Okay. For now, that's reasonably fine. The Apollo will close in over here and continue to drop missiles on the Trebuchet. There we go. Structure exposure. That's what we like to see. Not expecting much out of this Cestrus. Yeah, it very rarely does anything useful. That'll be okay for the moment. So next up, this Shadowhawk is staying put. Not moving it in the minefield. That Avatar firing on the Trebuchet, getting a little bit of damage done there. The trebuchet's armor is very, very low now. So the crossbow is going to step in a little bit here. And let's see what we can get done inside of this trebuchet's exposed armor. Solid connection on that Presumably one. a couple of crits there, but we don't actually know what they were. Okay. Another internal shot there. I like it. Yep. A rifleman, of course, there's not a whole lot it can do. I suppose we could just fire on this building here. Affirmative. Sure. We'll take that down, although I don't think even by taking down these buildings Flat will we get an LOS. But we can at least start to chip away at it. That'll be reasonably fine for now. The Black Knight can position out over here. That'll do for now. And, of course, our hoplite is going to drop artillery into their trebuchet. What do we got going on here? Terrible shot. Some internal damage with the LRM, so... I'm actually surprised that we haven't been knocked down by our artillery yet. It's kind of shocking. So, at this point, if we careful maneuvers, then we can careful maneuver down this little lip here. And that's exactly what we're going to do with our grasshopper. And that's the plan with the... Black Knight over here as well. Okay, next up will be the Centaur. Which Order. the Centaur is definitely getting close here. Confirm. It should be able to start firing next round if the Trebuchet is still alive by then. Honestly, I'd be a little surprised if it was. Oh, now you're firing your artillery. I see how it is. <laughs> sure. Dropping mines on the grasshopper is not going to Light dissuade damage, us very maybe. much. So this is reasonably fine. That archer firing on the trebuchet and getting a lot of internal shots there. Unfortunately, I think our damage is just broadly spreading out a lot. That's his arm gone, though. It really can't take much more of this. Reading you. So our Apollo can continue to head forward here and lob more missiles into that trebuchet. It's basically out of armor. 
there's very, very little it can do. And in fact, it's now dead. Fantastic. So we are done there. That definitely went a lot spicier at the beginning than it did at the end. There's no doubt about that one. The moment we managed to get that Nidhogg shot down, everything turned. Everything turned on that Nidhogg. Those things are just hard to hit, right? But they're also very powerful. I'd love to have a Nidhogg. It would be great to have one. So we get 2 million Z-Bills out of it. That's absolutely phenomenal. We took some damage, no doubt about that. We're not going to be able to deploy before the uh, financial report. We could grab ourselves a couple of Nidhogg parts here. And I kind of want to. All we can take is the one Nidhogg part. We can't take, like, the, th the Thunderbolts. We could take some of this stuff, but honestly, I really do want to get our hands on a Nidhogg. Light AC-20 is not bad. And a double heatsink. Sure, we'll take that. I would absolutely love to get a couple of heavy bombers, though. An Ifrit and a Nidhogg would be just phenomenal to deploy. The real question is, when would that end up happening, right? How long will it be before we end up getting that? Well, we got to shoot down a lot more of these things. I have no idea how many parts we have for a heavy bomber right now, but it's probably nowhere near enough. That is my guess. Well, let's see what Yang thinks this is going to be. It isn't going to be that bad except for the Shadowhawk, which did take a beating. Okay, 137k. That's not bad. Yeah, overall, even the Shadowhawk is only going to take seven days to repair. That seems reasonably fine. Let's tick on forward here. We are going to get our financial report. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. Indeed. So we'll accept a normal financial report here for now. And we're going to continue to take forward. That gets our hospital bay completed. So that's great. We're also going to be done with the grasshopper currently in nine days. I'm going to move these two up. That'll be a little bit more efficient, but not phenomenally. We do need to hop into our engineering and get another upgrade going here. And I think that a structure reduction would probably be a good call. All right. So we'll get that going. That'll save us a little bit of money anyway. And let's get these repairs completed. Okay, there's all of our repairs done at this point. We are now ready to deploy again. I want to hop into the mech bay real quick and take a look at what we have going on for heavy bombers here. Let's see. We've got a Ballista SPG there. We've got four out of five Tiger MBT parts. noted but we have very little for heavy bomber parts we probably want to focus in on that that's probably not the worst idea the shadow hawk is going to need something here looks like what do you need just a repair on the hip okay that'll take literally zero days so just do that we are now complete excellent well with that it is about time to put a cut in here slightly early but this is about the right time and as far as the game goes, it's exactly the right time. So I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. And next episode, we're going to deploy again because we're ready to do that. Although we should probably run through our barracks first, now that I think about it. We should do any promos at this time, since we are technically a couple minutes early. So let's just jump on through here and see what we've got. A point of guts. Yep, that'll be fine. For Gorgon, a point of tactics. For GV, yep, that's all okay. Hardcase, Magus, Panic, Plato, Romeo, and Weasel Cakes. Okay, so there is everyone promoted. Fantastic. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Andy McGar, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12 UK, Kintogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.